What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 video for you and in this one I'm covering the legendary item known as the lead sprinkler and how to handle the enemy that drops it, Billy the Anointed. Or as most of the people in the community have been calling him, Billy the Super Annoying. So before I tackle where Billy is and how to beat him, let's talk about what he can drop, the lead sprinkler, and whether or not you might like to farm for this. The Lead Sprinkler is a Jacob's AR that acts a bit like the Pimpernel from Borderlands 2. Bullets hit the target and then additional projectiles pop out to the sides around the target doing splash damage. This gun fires as fast as you pull the trigger, but it can also spawn in a Gatling version that does full auto, so be on the lookout for that version. The stats on mine at level 50 are 668 damage. 59% accuracy, 53% handling, 3.4 second reload time, 6.93 fire rate, and a mag size of 20. The red text says Splish Splash, which I know mostly from the old Bobby Darren song, Splash Splash, I was taking a bath, but more likely it's just a play on how this is a Jacob's gun that actually does some splash damage. Headshots will cause multiple explosive pellets to spawn from the source, making this weapon ideal for mobbing situations. Body shots will give less in the way of explosive pellets from what I can tell, but either way, it's extra damage on top of the base damage that the gun lists. Now, let's get into how you get this gun, and then we'll talk more about my thoughts on this weapon. So Billy is a Goliath-type enemy that you encounter during the story mission Lair of the Harpy. He can be very challenging the first time you fight him, but I want to tell you guys how I handled him and maybe give you guys some tactics that you could use to help you guys with the fight as well. First, I'll admit it, the first time I fought Billy, I got my ass handed to me. He's as tanky as they come early on, and in order to beat a tank, you're going to need some firepower. So, for the gear I'd recommend that you use on him, do the mission that you get from the dead pedestrian right when you first spawn at Floodmore Basin. The mission's called Don't Truck with Eden 6. It's a super easy mission, and you get a guaranteed masher for completing it. If you don't know what a masher is or you want to see exactly how to get this gun click the link down in the description below for a video from my friend joltsdude139 on how to get that now after that i do recommend a good shotgun for my first kill i found a decent torque shotgun but a jacobs or hyperion would work really well here too try to leave the random mob enemies alive as much as possible in case you go into fight for your life so you have a good way to get a second win during the fight, Billy attacks a few different ways. He has a clap that sends a shockwave at you. He's got flaming flying skulls, and he does like this teleport dash and attack that can wreck you pretty quick. So the best way to deal with everything that he does is constant movement. Try to avoid sitting still since Billy loves the stationary target and use the environment to your advantage. This room has levels to it. They're not drastic levels, but high ground is always best and gives you the best advantage in a fight. Use the master to chunk out some damage when Billy's moving to a new spot and you have a moment or two where he's not moving as much. Then hit him with the shotgun or whatever high power or high fire rate or damage weapon that you have when he's on the move. Even though you're moving non-stop, you always need to keep that mini-map in your peripheral since Billy closes ground fast. His flaming skulls can be shot out of the air if that helps you and the masher is great for that. So back to the lead sprinkler. Is the gun good? Honestly, no, not in my opinion. On first glance, it's easy to be hopeful that this thing will be the next Pimpernel or that it would even be able to one shot a level 20 something badass when I'm using this gun at level 50, but no, it's just weak. <laughs> even against large stationary targets, this gun just massively underperforms. You would think that with all the projectiles coming out against a large target, you would do some serious damage, but that's just not the case here. So if you're looking for a good Jacobs AR, this probably isn't it. I mean, it has its moments, it's, you know, pretty decent for mobbing, but there's better options. The uh, Gatling Gatling gun is far and away superior to this, in my opinion. So if you find that, hang on to it. But on the bright side, this gun does have a set loot source, unlike the Gatling Gatling gun, or at least as far as we know at the time that I make this video. But now again, I want to point out that I wasn't able to use a Gatling version of this gun, meaning full auto, but I know it can drop since that's the version I got from him when I played through the story for the first time. And that did seem like it did some pretty decent work early on, but I do also remember giving up on it after maybe a level or so. So is it possible that this version that I got is just not very good and that there's a more superior version out there? Yeah, absolutely, it's possible. But is it enough that I would consider this to be a good weapon that replaces other ARs? Probably not. I don't think so, but probably not. So, this one's a hard pass for me. 
Let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think about this gun, if you plan to farm it, if you've used it, if you like it, if you hate it. Let me know down in the comments below. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and tap the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.